Hi guys. Hi guys, we're back. Sheffield Wednesday, Stoke City. Massive game today. Must win, really, if we yeah. want it. If we win today, we'll be on the same points as Stoke. So that's we'll, how big we'll it is. Be out again. Stoke win, that's them safe. Pretty much safe. So it's huge for them. They'll be at, they'll have been circling this one, thinking we're playing a weaker team. We can get the points. And we're thinking probably our easiest game left out the last yeah. four. So we've got to win Definitely. today. Yeah. Uh, so, Felix, give us today's team news for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, Beadle, Valentin, Ahekwe, Fameworth, Johnson, Palmer, Bolt. Bannon, Windass and Smith. Okay, so Ugbo's back. No Pato. I'm surprised he's not in the starting lineup. No Pato's on the bench. On the bench. He had a massive impact, didn't he, on Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Kind of changed the game with his aggression, physicality, his running. So no doubt we'll be seeing him in the second half. Who's on the bench as well as him? Bench is Pato, Dawson, Iolfa, Van Bailey, Abbey, Pedersen, Hendrick. Masaba, Gasama, and Kadamatri. So I think we've got some real game changers on the bench. Kadamatri's power and his pace was good. Kasama, we know what he can do from the bench. Same with Masaba. Um, so it'll all be about can we get in front in this game? Uh, we did well on Tuesday to come yeah, two goals down to get a draw. Well. That did not see that coming. That point could be massive, but we've got to back it up with the three points today. If, if we had won on that, those, that oh, it'd three have been points scenes. would be Yeah. Uh, Stoke, uh, so they've been, uh, been struggled. They've had a little upturn recently and then struggled again. So they just can't seem to get free of relegation uh, struggles. Um, we'll see. I'm not, we'll, we'll have a look at the programme. I'm not too sure about their, their kind of cock top contributors with goals and stuff this season so we'll have a look at that um yeah they're always a, uh, expecting quite a physical battle they've got 4,000 fans coming today yeah, so we know it's going to be a, a big crowd so they'll have Not the crowd behind them Preston. no we've got 5,000 maybe 7,000 going to Blackburn yeah. so so I think this will be a tough game I don't think it's going to be a well you know they're you know they're struggling we've had better form in the last few months we'll roll them over because it feels like this is this is the season here if we get the three points today possibly feels like staying up is a realistic prospect we lose and it's going to look doom and gloom again Maybe so next season, yeah you never, you never know so prediction time let's put our next on the line then felix <sighs> i don't want to predict it i don't know why i just, I just don't feel like it. i don't feel, I feel like, like it i feel like i'm gonna all right. I predicted 2-1 yes, uh, last time well, and it was 2-all. Two 2-1, one. Two one. I predicted 1-all last time. And we never made it into the video because we didn't do it properly, did we? But yeah, I, I went for 2-all and it was 1-all. I'm going to go for 2-1 Wednesday. I think it's going to be a real tight game. Uh, I think we might go 2 up and they might score and it might be a nervous, nervous last 15, 20 minutes. That's my guess. Uh, no Jesse with us today. He's been at a kid's party. I don't know Beck's prediction. We'll ask him in a minute. But uh, fingers crossed. So Felix, not brave enough to predict. I no. just don't want it. Don't want it. All right, shall we make our way down to the ground? Yep. All right, we'll see you in a bit.
Hi guys. So it's half time, nil nil. Nil nil. Well, the Wayne's give had all the chances, yeah. haven't they? Hit the bar, goal disallowed, one saved right on the line by the goalie, a couple of other good chances. But they had, they had Where the goal, yeah, the chance, yeah, time. goal mouth scramble that yeah. uh, lots of people had to go at, it just ended up going wide. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Wednesday playing pretty well, moving it around nicely. Most of the game's being played in Stokes are. I think they look like they might be happy with the draw, which would obviously keep them away from us, which we don't blame them. Uh, I'm sure second half game will open up a bit more, there'll be a few more chances. What are you thinking? No, really. See a couple of goals? Yeah, I think we'll see one or two. Yeah, Bolts has been everywhere, Smith's won a lot in the air. Uh, they're going quite direct, a bit like Tuesday, so maybe more of the same. See Pato come on. Fingers crossed we'll get a result. All right, yep. see ya. Bye. Yep. Oh, I do, but I can wait. So we finished 1-1. One, one. Yeah. We didn't get much footage in so the second half. Not quite a bit in the first half, not so much yeah. in the second half. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, probably should have won on the balance of chances. So the story of the second half was quite tight. I think we had one decent chance ahead of wide. They had uh, a free kick, I think, uh, Beadle saved. Oh, it just went wide, actually, in a long way shot, Beadle saved. Then we scored... Um, the cross came out, it's kind of headed away and then Palmer followed in at the back post and asked Jim, you didn't see it though did you, after watching the toilet. <laughs> the toilet and Felix was also in the toilet when the disallowed goal went in so uh, so yeah, you were a lucky omen for the goals today so you just need to go to the toilet more just, often. I was just showing us, we had eight corners, they had one. Yeah, well it did feel like we dominated for much of the game and then Stoke set their game up and had an attack and they managed to get in behind Valentin, I think down the right and a guy, quite a good run actually. Looked like he might square it, but then he got to... Beadle came out to close him down, he kind of rolled it into the corner, it's quite a good finish. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and then there were a couple more chances after that, but we'll come to that in a minute. So give us the match stats, Felix, to give us a flavour of the match. Possession, 55 to us, 45 to them. Yeah, it felt like Shots, we had more of the ball, didn't we? Yeah. 15 to us, 8 to them. Shots on target, 5 to us, 2 for them. So they scored half of their shots on target. Yeah. Um... Corners, eight for us, one for them, and fouls, nine for us, not we did nine, they did 20. Yeah, so Wednesday That's started true. really well, didn't they? Could have scored yeah. within, what, a few minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes. Should have been 2 nil within Probably. Five minutes. So, a great cross from Windass. I think it was up at the back post. Is, you never know, because like... If, if they just scored, scored the first, one, yeah, exactly, you never have, know. They might have scored. So, yeah, Windass crossed in, Ugbo. It looked like, from where we were, so it looked like he was going to score. A, I'll have to watch you back. It looked like a really good save from the keeper. Yeah. And then Smith hit the bar, leaning back, just got his toe on it, flew up in the air, hit the bar. I'm not sure he could have done much more. He was stretching from about 10 yards out. And then someone scored, was it Smith who scored? We couldn't see. Or from a front, no, with a header. And then it was disallowed. That's why you were I at the toilet. Know. 
not seen that one back. I think Smith might have had his hands on the defender, so got goal got disallowed, but it may be, may be a bit soft. A couple of other good chances in the first half. Good opening, Smith, Valentin again. Um, couldn't get the goal, and then but then second half seemed a bit tighter actually. I think there was one header early on from across. Palmer just put wide, and then it was Palmer who scored, uh, and then Stoke got the equaliser, um, and then Stoke nearly scored a winner. They worked a really good move, got it into the box. The guy was in about the penalty spot. Had a shot. He hit his own player. He's, it was like if it was a defender, you'd be like, what a block. But yeah. he sort of his own player went out for a goal kick. I think he was like pass. Like, I don't think he was passing it to him, but I think he was like going to hit it. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah, and then Wednesday more chances. So there was a header that was cleared off the line. It might have been Patterson a flick header that looked like it was dropping in, and they cleared it off the line. And then yeah. um, one or two other bits and bobs, but probably not enough clear, clear cut chances. It was the first. It was the first ten minutes we needed to get the goals, didn't we? Um, it's been yeah. the story of the season. Don't we don't score when we get good chances? That's why we're we hardly scored any goals. So um, yeah, are you down? We're a bit down, aren't we? Yeah, but because we knew if we'd have beat, we could have got Stoke back onto the same points as us. So let's have a look at the table. It's starting to thin out a bit now at the bottom. So go on, Felix, give us so a rundown. We're on. We're so on we're not counting Rotherham. We're not even. They're gone. Yeah. So we're on forty-four. Huddersfield are on forty-four as well. We're both in the, uh, in the relegation, relegation zone. zone. Birmingham on forty-five because they won today. Yeah. If we. Actually, I think if, if we'd have won, we'd have put them in the relegation zone. Yeah. We'd be on 46, we'd but on, we didn't. We'd be in 22nd. So, yeah, they great win for them if today. They lost, if they had lost, yeah, they lost, they would have been one below us. Yeah. And if they had drawn, they would have been on the same place. Well, they didn't. Oh, so, that's all ifs and buts. They didn't. They won. Then, who's above Birmingham? Uh, Stoke and, Q and QPR on 47. Yeah, and Plymouth, yeah. probably not quite safe, 48. They could get dragged back into it. It's I a sort of gap time now I where... I think it probably goes up to Millwall and then maybe. everyone else above them yeah. a bit. But See, Millwall, aren't I, I think if any of the teams, well, Millwall, Blackburn, Plymouth, I think they'd have to lose the last three games to get sucked back into it. For us, I think I think two wins will be enough. I think if we could win two. Although Birmingham and Huddersfield have got to play each other, so obviously... One team's going to get some points, but one's going to drop some, or yeah. both will drop some if it's a draw. And also, Birmingham have got their get out of jail free card next weekend. Rotherham. They've got Rotherham. Can Rotherham do us a favour? Hopefully, Rotherham actually can. Playing with freedom, never, already um, down, you never know. Yeah, it could happen. Is. So, we've got Blackburn, massive well, game, have, must they, win game. They don't have any pressure on them because they're no, relegators. But so. they've only got 23 points, so yeah. probably not a great side. Blackburn, we've got to win that 7,000 hours. We won't be there. We would have liked to have gone, but we're in London watching I London Marathon. Would have gone if I think we, we would have done, London. but we're in London. So we're going to be watching it on our phones, doing our best to follow it because it's on Sky. So, man of the match today for you? Uh, either Smith or. Um, who else was I going to say? Volts. No. Yeah, Volts. 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 For me, Volts, I thought it was everywhere. Strong in the air, strong on the ground, used the ball well. Some really dangerous crosses and free kicks. High energy, he'll be missing that. He needs to produce that. We need him for the last three games. Bannon was class again today, I thought, with the, the way he uses the ball and, and yeah. just keeps the play ticking over. They, them, the, I think the formation was spot on. Hard to criticise today because I think we did a lot of things well. Um, just not. Be, I suppose if you could say one thing, it was just finishing those early chances. You know, instead of hitting the bar, get it in. Instead of the keeper saving it, make it count. So, credit to Stoke. I think a draw was good for them because it keeps the distance between us and them. And um, and they did fight back into it after we took the lead. But I think if we'd have gone two goals up, if we'd have managed to get a two-goal start, I think we'd probably think won the game. It, next game... If everyone else loses and we, and we win, win we're, we're on yeah. the same points. And it does so. feel like that kind of season. It could change quickly. So, we're not... You know, we'd have been pleased to win today, but we wouldn't have been safe by any means if we'd have yeah. won today. It could have all changed next week, so it can still change next week. We get that, yeah. get to Blackburn, produce. You know, Preston was a great away win, QPR a mm -hmm. great away win, Stoke a great away win. Mm -hmm. Can we produce that in Blackburn? Get the points. Hope so, uh, and we'll see where we're at next yeah. weekend. All right. Bye. Bye. So we're done for today. See you next time.